hurt your feelings, but I did not die. Yeah. Me Shan the Entertainment Feed Community Wagwan who they are on the Wednesday are trendy Wednesdays. I don't know if it's just me, but today is a hot day, very very hot day. Maybe we are gonna get some rain later on. Still, community members, hope you are doing okay. Hope you are doing all right, having a very productive day. If it ain't productive, well, just try and have yourself a good one. That other way though, make we get to the topics, the song that I play right now, the visuals that you now see. It is the official music video for the very controversial song, and why am I say controversial? Well, some people see the song as a gospel song, while some see it as a dancehall song, a dancehall song that shades some of the females them in dancehall, for example, Spice. And to be honest, the song kinda sound a bit shady. But what I'm gonna talk about, it is the official music video for the song titled Sorry to Hurt Your Feelings by Marian Alley. We won't mention in the skies. You thought I'd be dead right now. Hungry and all are big right now. The other the people who love that track who want to hear more music from Marian Alley. Seem like we're gonna get more music. Don't know if it will be one or more of them song there, like Sorry to Hurt Your Feelings, but sound as if it's gospel and at the same time sound like it's dancehall. At the same time, the minister took to social media where she shared a picture of a toilet. With the caption stating, I tried flushing my sins years ago and they floated back up. But when God saw me struggling to flush them and they kept floating back up, he took them and cast them into the sea of forgetfulness, never to remember them no more. If you have sins that you have been struggling to hide, give them to Jesus, he will do away with them permanently. With that said, I will be sleeping like Jesus did in the boat tomorrow cause I just got back from the recording studio. I am very tired so there won't be any prayers and fasting service tomorrow. Please do it with your family if you can. I think that message is for all the people who would normally join Minister. Marian all on social media, YouTube, or most Instagram for Sunday service or prayer worshiping service. Still, let see what's going on there. Minister Marian all informing her followers that she won't be doing prayer service. Why is that? She just got back from the recording studio. So, there have it. It seems as if we'll be getting more music from Minister Marian Allen. Yeah, i place from in the room. <laughs> you just can't stop it. As we are talking about the prayer service, worship service, and so on, we know that the other day was the funeral for dancer veteran artist Merciless. Bounty Killer and a few others, well, more specifically, Bounty Killer received quite a backlash for not attending the funeral. Bounty reacted to the backlash, though, and gave the reason as to why he never attended the funeral. According to Bounty, he shied away from participating in the funeral activities, which appeared not to be about paying respects to and celebrating the life of Leonard Bartley, but was concentrated largely on gloating about how the Gyalem Gizada decimated the combined trio of himself, Beanie Man, and Ninja Man at Sting 2000. So, to put it simple, Bounty Killer never like how the people ever talk about the clash where Merciless uh, defeats him, Beanie Man and Ninja Man. So he decided not to go to the funeral. Beanie Man on the other hand, he shared the reason for a no-show but not the no-show for Merciless funeral. A no-show for his UK tour. Beanie Man is to be in the UK on the 23rd of this month for his concert, Beanie Man in Concert. But as stated that date is cancelled. Beanie Man shared this. My sincerest apologies to my fans in the UK. November 27th will be bigger and better. Beanie Man shared that over on Twitter, over on Instagram, he stated, Unfortunately, we still need a work visa to perform in the UK. My team and I had everything planned and organized. However, I believe that the Queen's passing, the mourning period, and the administrative changes have caused a delay in the issuance of the visa. We were told to wait until Tuesday once the embassy opens its doors. Tuesday came and the visas were still pending. As a result, we had to announce the rescheduling of the event. We were honestly hoping for good news as we did not want to disappoint the fans. The new date is November the 27th. All tickets will remain valid and we sincerely hope this hasn't caused any disruption. Dear Diaries, and looking forward to seeing you on Sunday 27th of November 2022 for the show you are fully worthy of. Love and guidance. Beanie Man, well said, but I think, you know, a lot of people would really want to know the reason as to why you never attended Merciless Funeral. Well, maybe not everybody, you know, mostly Merciless fans, supporters and so on, not just them, but Ricky Trooper. Mm -hmm. Talking about Merciless though, well, an article from the Jamaica Observer with the headline No Loving Dancehall, Merciless Manager knocks Beanie Man Bounty and others over absence at funeral. Harville Gaddafi Art, manager of Merciless, says he regrets that he wasn't able to attend the late entertainer's funeral because of issues with his US passport. Still, he peeved that Beanie Man and Bounty Killer, among other dancehall heavyweights, were no shows at the event. The family actually put photos of Bounty and Beanie on the program. Why did they do something like that? The family members thought that there was love between Beanie, Bounty, and Merciless because he spoke highly of them to his family. They were co workers, but the family thought there was love and respect. Hart, who is now based in the United States, told the Jamaica Observer online. 
I want to criticize Capeton and Sizzler as well. Everyone who sat down and turned a blind eye to Merciless Funeral, even if Rasta won Funeral, they could have made an appearance at the setup to show their appreciation. All who don't want to come to the funeral, who born funeral, could have turned up to represent, he stated. That right there, I have to agree with. If you're not doing the funeral thing, you could have even, you know, represented the Nine Nights or the setup. The article not finished. Art lauded Spraga Benz for attending and giving tribute at the St. Gabriel's Anglican Church in Maypen, Clarendon. I give Spraga Benz 1.8 zillion respect. All those who mark the passing of an icon, big up Ricky Trooper. All those artists who were in Jamaica, I'm not talking about who were overseas. All who were in Jamaica and never come out for their co worker, shame on you. God going to deal with them drastically and upset Art stated. Art said that absence of the top flight DJs, Bounty Killer Beanie Man, Sizzler and Capeton proved that there was no love in the entertainment fraternity. There is no love in the industry. Merciless died from a broken heart to how the industry treated him and everyone come and witness what I was saying. See it there, Bounty, Beanie, no shows, not even show up at the singing. God notes everything but there was a great turnout. This was like a state funeral. The industry needs to show more love to their co-workers, stated Art. The entertainment field community, I want to tell more and think about that. To read more on the article, a link will be provided in the description of the video and also pinned at the top of the comment section. As we are talking about no shows for events and so on, we know that Movado and Skeng is set to perform over in Trinidad this Friday. Trinidad, Boston, please Boston, Boston. Live the concert. Anyway. Friday, 23rd September. I don't know the 23rd of this month, which is September, I don't know. Place to be Queen's Park, me, Connigan. I don't know, scan that. Bring me location, me there, you girl, yard. Now the entertainment feed community, I see this video circulating on social media and they're saying it's Movado over in Trinidad I rehearsed for a show. At the same time, in a small writing we say the god in a Trinidad, mad and mean, them dead Jamaican next. Once again, me I gotta ask the question, isn't Movado still wanted for questioning? The entertainment feed community tell me nothing about that. <laughs> As a matter of fact, make a check out some music. Intense correction. We know that in that song it said that intense this a few people, Joshy, Sicker, and Vibes Cartel, and uh, maybe one and two other. Will there be an answer back from Vibes Cartel and Joshy? I don't know. At the same time, Sicker and Stoke to social media where he shared this cover art for a song, I guess titled Fish Tense. Sicker and shared that on his Instagram with the caption stating tag him, meaning tag intense. Some more of intense correction just before we move on. Man is part of with new music, new visuals. You know, some people are gonna say there is so much guns in the music video. Why may I show this? Not tell it to me. Tell entertainers them stop put out so much gun songs, stop put the bag of guns them in the music video. At the same time, let's be honest, this song it have a vibe. So for all who interested in hearing more of the song, a link will be provided in the description of the video and also pinned at the top of the comment section. Make we check out a little bit more of the song just before we move on. Man is Sparta, quick question. Yeah, sure, you want to make Sir P list because I don't think it's a very nice list for make, you know. We can bring up a few scenarios where Sir P thought well, one or two entertain and them find themselves in a certain sticky situation. Songs sound good, but do you want yourself to be in a messed up situation? Bob Khan recently took to social media where he shared photos and videos of his son. Papa Skull! Yo, boy, yeah, run go. Up your goddamn self. And really, and really, and really. In we go. Gang shit. Street man. Street man. Yeah, I'm Swedish son that. Don't feel like say a jacket, yeah? No, some people were only aware of uh, Popcorn's daughter, Rihanna. At the same time, some people not even did know that Popcorn had children. For example, Ruth Gal Gabby, who asked the question, Popcorn did have Pitney? 
But as they tell us, some people had no idea popcorn have a son. Chilibu and so many other people over on pages where the video and the pictures are shared of popcorn and the son, stating the same thing, never knew popcorn had a son. Although some have said some ratty thing, for example, him never own him. 281 Aras Web seem as if she harassed the web with her comments stating that Popcorn never did own the youth. That is why most people never know of his son. Some already knew and never made that clear, even adding more information, for example, RSP Mon, who wrote, he has more than two kids, him just private. Clear Skin and a few others uh, kind of said the same thing. She stated, Popcorn have four kids, two boys and two girls. The entertainment feed community, I want to tell me what I think about that. We're moving on. Street man. Yeah, I'm Swedish son that. Don't feel like say a jacket, yeah? Last thing we are going to look at in at this report, last updates. Skeng, seem as if, or what, what I'm talking about, seem as if. Skeng is ready to release his debut EP. The entertainer shared this picture, which I show same of the goats. I think, you know, because he have two goats in him hand. And for those who don't know the goat thing, I'm guessing the older audience, it means greatest of all time. It not literally means a skeng is a goat. Yes, he might call himself a goat in the greatest of all time. If for that, the two goats actually mean in the photo, but he's not actually a goat like a man, you know. <laughs> Still, the entertainer shared the picture with the caption stating, Beast of the Era. Hashtag Ratigang, hashtag EP, hashtag no. The entertainment feed community, I want to tell me what I think about that. Yes, you want time o'clock, yes, you want time o'clock, or you can get the card here. And as usual, my people.